As more and more users have shifted to laptops, it's become a fact of life for IT that users are going to save files locally on their hard drive rather than using VPNs and centralized storage. This makes recovering users in the case of a hardware failure or migrating a user, say, from Windows XP to Windows 7 much more difficult. However, with data now, we can make it much easier for users to maintain that same local file save experience. They can simply save files into their data now folder as they normally would, and it feels to them like they're saving the file on the hard drive. The difference is that data now, very elegantly in the background, will sync those files up to a centralized server. It's a very simple approach that most users will catch on to right away. But what about those users that can't be retrained to use the data now folder, or otherwise prefer to continue saving files on places like their desktop in My Documents? Well, that's a great opportunity to use Absence Environment Manager in conjunction with Data Now to simplify the ability to centralize your data as well as accelerate your migration projects. Now, most of our customers already use Environment Manager to make user settings and personalization elements portable and more easy to migrate. But Environment Manager also has a very powerful policy configuration engine, and I'm going to show you how you can use that in combination with Data Now to simplify user data migration. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new node or collection of actions that will occur when the user logs on to their system. In this case, we'll just call it data now folder redirection. Now, if I jump over to my actions tab, what you'll notice is that we actually have built into Environment Manager the option to set up folder redirection right from the console. So the next thing I can do is think about all of the locations where my users might be storing files today. The desktop is a common one that I know many of my users may be using. So what I can do is I can take that location and on a go forward basis redirect it into my data now folder. In this case I've set up a subdirectory in the home directory called user docs. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then while I've used my own system as a template I'm going to make this more generic so that I can apply this policy across all of my users. Now what this does is configure the desktop so that the user can continue saving files to their desktop and in the background, Environment Manager will redirect those files into the Data Now folder, and then from there, Data Now will sync the files back to the centralized server. So it's really the best of both worlds. The user doesn't need to change their workflow, but at the same time, the IT has the comfort of knowing that files are all being synced back to the server, from which they can easily be recovered onto a new machine as part of a recovery or a desktop migration project. Now, this will set this up on a go-forward basis, but you also have to think about the files that may already be on the desktop, or in other storage locations. And as you can see, we take care of that as well. There are a couple of checkboxes that you can simply flag if you'd like to copy all the existing files from the desktop to the new redirected location, as well as clean up and delete all of those files once that copying has occurred. And all of this can be done on an automated basis with no need to take the user offline and no need to spend manual IT cycles on the migration effort. So this initial action I set up was for the desktop, but I can of course repeat this process for as many storage locations as I need to. So as an example, I could come in and set up the same type of rule if I wanted to also redirect documents that are stored in the user's My Documents area. So as you can see, it's very simple to use Data Now on a standalone basis, but if you use it in combination with Environment Manager, you can make it even more frictionless for users as you migrate them to a new approach that both lets them do work the way they want to, but also makes it simpler for IT to migrate users to a new desktop environment.